So you might be trying to figure out how you can go through and connect your Fitbit Versa 4 to your, uh, to your iPhone. Now doing this is actually very basic and it really doesn't take too much time at all. So the very first thing you're going to want to do on your iPhone, you want to go ahead and open up the Fitbit application. So download the Fitbit app on your app store and you want to go ahead and basically just you know install it. Then what you want to do is you want to click on open and you want to open up this application. Make sure your Fitbit for Sephora is turned on, make sure it's you know charged up. And then what you want to do is you want to click on what device you want to go ahead and basically open up. Now it's going to tell you to sign into an account, but then you can go and click on add a device right here and you can choose which device you want to add. If it's the Versa 4, you want to click on Versa 4 right there. Now it's going to tell us to allow certain things, so we can go ahead and basically enable our Bluetooth settings right here, and then go ahead and make sure Bluetooth is on and everything like that. Now it might, if it brings us back into this panel, you want to click in the top left corner, click on Add Device one more time, and then click on Versa 4 to you know find it. So now we can click on Start Setup. So we can click here, start the setup of this, click on I Agree, and then it's going to tell us to charge our Fitbit first of four if we want to. And then it's going to start, you know, searching for it. So like I said, make sure it's on. And for the most part, it's going to go through and try to find this Fitbit first of four as it's kind of going through here. So now, as soon as you click on your language there, this little pop-up comes up. So now it should basically find it. Then after a few moments, so I had to go and plug mine in and restart my Fitbit app and turn my Bluetooth on and off in order for it to work. But at some point, you should be able to come into this area where it tells you to enter the four digit code. Look at the four digit code on your Fitbit and go ahead and type that in like this. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is wait a few moments for it to eventually connect. It should just take a few moments here. You want to click pair and really any, uh, in any things you that pop up, you just want to read those notifications and then basically go through and just allow it. So you want to allow basically every single thing. In this case, I'm just not allowing it, but in this case, you want to go through and just enable every single thing that basically pops up here. And then it's going to go through and basically start allowing it and just kind of going from there. So there can be sometimes the application glitches, like you can see here. There might be a little pop-up that tells you to update your Fitbit. So you just want to click I agree and basically go through and you know update it if you need to. But any of those pop-ups, you just want to go through and basically just allow them and basically go from there. So at this point, your Fitbit should be fully connected. You can go through and you know download the updates, install the updates that you normally would, and it'll go from there and it'll start updating. So at this point, your Fitbit should be connected. You can go through and use it whichever way you want to. You can put it on your wrist and you're pretty much good to go from there. So that pretty much covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.